In the previous video, we have discussed infix to postfix conversion as one of the applications of stack. And in that particular video, we have discussed one algorithm that how this infix expression can be converted to postfix. We know that in that very algorithm, it was told that let us suppose q is the infix expression given and p is the postfix expression that will be going for the output. If we scan one infix expression, then we shall get four different types of symbols. One is the operand, another one is the operator, another one is the open parenthesis, another one is the last one is the closing parenthesis. No, the step one and step two will be for some initialization. They are asking to concatenate one closing parenthesis at the end of Q and also they are requesting to put one opening parenthesis on the top of the stack and then they are scanning the infix expression q from left to right symbol by symbol one symbol at a time until the stack is empty. So, if one operand is encountered that will be put in p, if one op opening bracket is encountered that will be pushed on the top of the stack, if operator is encountered then all the operators from the top of the stack will be popped out having got precedence greater than or equal to the currently scanned operator and they will be put in p in the same order and the currently scanned operator will be pushed on the top of the stack and if one closing bracket is encountered then all the operators from the top of the stack will be popped out and will be kept in p in the same order until one opening bracket is encountered. The opening and the closing brackets will be discarded and they will disappear from the system. So, in this way the algorithm was written. We have discussed this full algorithm in our earlier video. So, now we shall apply the same in our example in this particular video and we knew we know that this exponentiation is having the precedence highest compared to this star and slash they will have the same precedence, but having precedence lower than this exponentiation operator and higher than the plus and minus operators. Okay. Now, see let us suppose we are having one infix expression given and we are trying to make it a postfix expression in P. So, it was told that one closing bracket will be concatenated at the end of Q and one opening bracket will be put on the top of the stack. Okay. Now, see this is my uh, symbols which I am going to scan. So, A plus bracket opening bracket B star C I have written those symbols in the same order. So, at the end of that I shall get one closing bracket there. Now, see if operand is encountered put in put it in A. If operator is encountered then pop all operators from the top of the stack, but you see there is no operator on the top of the stack. So, this currently scanned operator will be pushed on the top of the stack. If opening bracket is encountered, then push it on the top of the stack. If operand is encountered, put it in, in, a P, in P. So, now I am going for this. Now, here we are having this star. So, pop all operators from the top of the stack. I am not finding any operator on the top of the stack. So, no operator will be popped out, but the currently scanned operator star will be pushed on the top of the stack. When operand is encountered, put it in P. When the minus will be encountered, then from the top of the stack, I can pop out this star. Why? Because its precedence is greater than minus. Star is having the precedence greater than minus. So, it will be popped out, star will be popped out and that will be kept in P and this currently scanned operator minus will be pushed on the top of the stack. Then one opening bracket is there, so that will be pushed on the top of the stack. Now D is operand, so that will be kept in P. Now this bracket, sorry, this slash will be obtained nothing is no operator is found at the top of the stack. So, it will be pushed nothing has to be popped. 
Now, E is obtained, so E will be kept in P because E is an operand. Now, this exponentiation operator has been found whose precedence is greater than this slash. So, no operator will be popped out, but this exponentiation will be pushed on the top of the stack. Now, f is nothing but one operand, so that will be kept in p at the end. Now, this is my closing bracket. For the first time, I am en encountering with this closing bracket. Then pop all the operators from the top of the stack and put them in p in the same order in which they were popped. And also, the opening bracket will be popped out. The opening bracket and the closing bracket will disappear from the system. So, Now, star has been obtained. So, minus precedence is lesser than star according to this. this. So, that is why star will be pushed, minus will not be popped. Next, we are getting this g. So, g will be put uh, as an operand, will be put on the p at the end. We have completed up to this. So, I am remaining with the four symbols. So, when this opening bracket will come, then I should, I should pop out all the operators from the top of the stack and in the same order they will be kept in P until I get the opening bracket. Opening bracket will be popped out, opening bracket, closing bracket will disappear from the system. Now, star plus cannot be popped out because its precedence is lesser than star. Then H will be obtained. So, H will be kept in P at the end. Now, this closing bracket has been encountered. So, up to this opening bracket, everything will be popped out. Operators will be kept in P in the order. And the stack will become empty. The algorithm will terminate. And this is my required postfix expression. This is my required postfix expression. So, that is my answer against this particular postfix form. So, in this way, my algorithm is executing. So, I am writing this postfix expression here for the better understanding. So, this is my postfix expression against this particular infix expression. So, in these two videos, I have discussed the required algorithm, I have discussed with a proper example and I got the output and this output is this one against this particular infix expression. I told you this one earlier that postfix expression does not require any bracket, operands and operator their sequence will decide the precedence. I think you are getting the logic, please do the practice with some other expression, other infix expression for the better understanding. Thanks for watching this video.